Hello everyone, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and we are going to be making a lovely French toast breakfast, but not only is it a French toast breakfast, it's magical. And not only is it magical, um, it is one of my personal recipes. So, let's talk about what we've got going on and what we'll be doing in this video. We're going to be making magical French toast with fruit, uh, posh rosé cider, and uh, also showing you what we're saving for our witchcraft later on. Now, your main resource for books you need to be using, main book here, Scott Cunningham's Wicca in the Kitchen. If you cannot find the ingredient within there, use this as a backup, but remember, the magical intentions are very different in this when you eat it and ingest it than when you uh, use it in a working. So, real quickly, we are going to go through what we have here and uh, from the top, okay? so. I think most of us know how to make French toast. If you don't know how to make French toast, I can certainly tell you how. Um, but the posh uh, cider is a crisp and rose cider, and you can grab any kind of cider you want, but if it's like flavored with something besides rose, just look up the intention of that and command that with what to do. What do you mean, Jen, command it with what to do? Um, here's what I mean. <clears throat> you look up the ingredients, like cider has rose and apple, and then you'll find rose and apple's intentions. So those are for apple, the intentions when you eat it are health and peace. So as you pour this in, you're asking apple to give you whatever you wanna take from that. But for me, I'm taking both, health and peace. Because both make sense for a love and protection French toast. All right. Uh, next, we are saying the cider itself is like a wine, um, and the uses, magical uses are celebration, okay? So let's celebrate love and protection. Now blackberries are just money and sex, so since I don't need to add those intentions to this working, I can just ask the blackberries to be there for protection, um, or just, you know, have this protection and love energy in the working. You can always substitute, just hold your intention over longer. Cheers. Okay, so we've got the intention of the rose, we've got the intention of the alcohol, we've got the intention of the apple, and we've got the intention of the blackberries. And what makes it posh is, you know, just blackberries floating inside of that rosé. It sounds very posh to me. And you just pick your favorite magical number. If your favorite magical number is seven instead of three, go ahead and add those in and uh, whatever intention you have with that number. Eat the berries at the end. They're so, so fun to eat, but it's lovely when you drop them in after the cider is poured and they sparkle, and when you refill, they re-bubble. So it really does feel magical because it feels like all the carbonation and the bubbles are activating all of that stuff. Okay, so down here, I'll show it once again. We've got fruit and we've got um, French toast. So within French toast, we have butter, milk, bread, eggs, vanilla, and salt. When we add the butter, we tell butter, um, ask for protection and love just because the only intention it has is spirituality. Uh, or you can ask for spirituality if you want to, sure. But if you're really trying to focus on just protection and love, then ask for that and you would just hold your intention longer. Any ingredient can really do anything that you ask it for as long as you um, hold that intention long enough. The next one uh, ingredient is milk. Uh, the planet is moon, the element is water, and then the intent, the magical intentions are love and spirituality. So we're gonna, when we pour that milk, before we beat up the eggs and milk together to dip the bread into to fry, we are going to ask for uh, the milk to be uh, charging this, working with love, love, love. Uh, next, the bread, which is wheat, um, feminine, Venus, earth, uh, and fertility and money is the energies there. And I see love connected to fertility. So I'm gonna ask that wheat for love, okay, love. Um, the eggs, the eggs are protection, fertility, divination, many things, but I'm gonna ask really the eggs to do a lot of protection. As you can see with the eggshell, which is one of the things that we keep for later on, um, I use white eggshells for negative workings, brown eggshells for positive. We've talked about that in a video I made just on the topic, brown versus white eggshells and why, um, but the way that the chickens were kept for these non-organic eggs versus the organic eggs. <clears throat> very sad chickens versus very happy chickens. Um, but either way, eggs will still hold protection, fertility, and divination. So vanilla 
I'm going to either add some vanilla bean if you had it, but I added a little bit of vanilla um, extract. Vanilla is feminine, Venus, water, uh, and then when we eat vanilla, it is love and sexuality. So we're asking the vanilla for love. As we're beating it into that and adding it into that um, egg mixture, we're asking that for love, okay? And uh, next we have salt. Salt, of course, is protection and it keeps evil at bay. I just do a pinch of salt into my egg mixture. Uh, next, we've got the flavoring. Okay, I use butter. We talked about butter, spirituality, so I just ask for it for protection. And I'll ask my, you know, spirit for protection. So, oranges is one of my favorite flavorings, just like orange butter and perhaps powdered sugar, but today I just went oranges and butter. Now, when you add the oranges and the, um, in between, and when you add them there, I like to squeeze the juice over it when I'm eating it, just like instead of syrup, it's the way I like to do it. Um, oranges, I will ask for, well, the planet is the sun, the element is fire. Uh, when eaten, it's love and purification. In workings, it has seven different things it does, but when eaten, it's just love and pur purification. So I'll squeeze that on there and ask for love and purification. And you know how people bless their food before they sit down and eat? That's kind of like what you're doing here. You're really taking time to bless every single part of this food. It's a really beautiful thing, I think. Now the fruit, the blackberries, we talked about those over here, but if uh, we're going to talk about them here, and it's feminine Venus water, and in workings it's just money and sex, so we're just going to ask them for protection and love. Over here to the grapes, you can use color magic. I did a whole series on color magic, um, every single color in a 20 to 30 minute video. Um, and so you could use the color magic, green and red or purple, but here we are going to talk about uh, grapes are planet the moon, element water, and then their energies are fertility, money, and dreams when eaten. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep that fertility and ask the grapes for love. Love, love, love. <clears throat> Alright, so next, moving along. Uh, optional things that you can add are maple syrup. If you add maple syrup, the intentions are money and love. So you can add, add maple syrup and be pouring love right onto there. Um, Powdered sugar, sugar the is absolutely love. Any sugar elements you add to this, and fruit is got sugar in it, right? So any of this sugar you can just bless for love. So since we couldn't find love in grapes, why don't we just ask the sugar in the grapes for love? Do you see what I'm saying? Any fruit could be love because all fruit has sugar. Uh, so there's that. And what are the optionals? I mean. I didn't look up lemon, but sometimes people squeeze on lemon. There's a lot of different things for that. And you would just look up all those intentions in this book right here. Let's move along uh, and say that I think that this plate just looks beautiful. I've tried to film this video so many times and it's not worked out. It's not nobody's fault but my own. I'm just in a new space and all that and uploading videos is difficult. But I want to show you what we were able to save from this for our witchcraft workings for later on. It's excellent. Now. What I suggest you save are, if you have perhaps a couple of grapes that weren't perfect or a little soft, you could put those in the dehydrator because the magical intentions of grapes, when you use them later on in your workings, are fertility money and mental powers. So you could use those in workings later on for that. Dry up your blackberries and use them for their intentions, which are when they're in workings, protection, healing, money, and sex, and then the grapevine, which I use for like gossip removal workings, or because the grapevine represents gossip and slander and just the way that conversation, you know, talking about other people, okay? Um, now back over here, we've got, uh, we're going to be saving all of these orange rinds, right? And you dry these for so many things. Now, oranges, when they're eaten, they are only love and purification. But in workings, they're protection, money, exorcism, healing, prophetic dreams, lust. You can pretty much add orange into something and guarantee yourself that it's going to make sense in one way or another uh, when you hold your intention and ask for it. And then we've got these, of, like I said, these dried white eggshells. Uh, when I wash them out, I make sure to get that film out of the middle, uh, the membrane. Um, which you could dry and save and work, use for workings if you wanted to. Like, I don't know how you'd apply a membrane, but I could figure it out. I mean, I just love intuitive magic. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, and I'm glad that I got it into a video for you. Um, 
Cheers, remember if it was a different type of cider, like if it was a cherry cider. Just look up, just look up cherry in here. If you add lemon instead of orange, just look up lemon in here, okay? Um, and that is it. Thank you for joining me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, while I showed you, this is what I named it, Taxidermy Witches, TTW's Love and Protection French Toast with Posh Rosé Cider. Cheers and have a beautiful day, everybody. I'll see you very soon.